afternoon. Um, thought we played well last Sunday. I thought we covered kicks well. Made all our kicks. Uh, put pressure on their field goal kicker all day, and MJ Stewart got his hand on that last one, which was a big player. We would have had to put the hands team out there. Um, you know, Taki got on that first punt. It wasn't a great punt, but sometimes better be lucky than good, I would think. And then uh, he had a great punt. Jamie had a great punt in the fourth quarter, pinned him at the 12 yard line, knocked it out of bounds. So, um, kickoff return, we started with a solid return. And, and then the young man had a 15 yarder in the fourth quarter that helped get us a good field position. So, we're getting there. Uh, not anywhere close to where I think we can be or need to be to help us win a bunch of games down the, you know, during the season. So, I'm um, excited where we're at and we've got a big, big challenge this weekend. Uh, Coach Tabor's coming back to Cleveland. I know you guys know him, mm -hmm. and I'm excited about this weekend's game. The coverage, uh, how has your coverage improved from last year to this year? I thought it was pretty good in that uh, Texans game. Yeah, they, um, I think we've got, we've got good players. Our kicker's done a nice job. Um, we tweaked the scheme a little bit. Uh, I'll be honest with you, having three preseason games really helped. Um, for the things that we want to do, we're not big. We're not going to go out there and bang touchbacks all day long. I'm not a big fan of that. Our head coach isn't either. So we want to pin people inside the 20, which we've done successfully so far this year. But I think having a preseason under our belt, getting those guys out there, making mistakes in preseason, improving during practice, and then putting it all together on game day, I think that's really helped us. So what, what went into the decision to use Demetrik on punts this week? Uh, he did a punch. He and... Uh, um, Donovan did punch in the first game. I think they did. I don't know if Donovan took a ref the other day or not. But, um, you know, Donovan's more of the plus 50 sure-handed type guy. Um, I think uh, Demetrius a little bit more explosive. Uh, he's got great quickness, uh, good running back vision, which I know we've talked about before. A good returner should have good running back vision. And um, so hopefully he'll keep getting better. He doesn't always make great decisions. You know, the one at the end of the first half was a little nerve-wracking, but uh, he learned from that. He's really smart. He's conscientious. He's trying to get better. And you know, he was not a punt returner in college, so this is all new to him. So every rep is going to be um, a learning experience for him. Did you think the improvement from week one to week two was just having that NFL game under his belt as far as returning? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I mean, he's got a long way to go, and he'll tell you that as well. And, and we talk about we talk about situational football all the time, and we talked about situational football since he's been here. Um, so I think he's going to get improved with every rep that he gets. And you said bad decision on the one at the end of the half. Should he have let it go? Or? Yeah, I mean, if you're not going to catch it clean or, um, I mean, we blocked it okay. The guy out kicked his covers a little bit, and we had the corner slow down a little bit. But my instructions were him going out there. I said, look, we're going to go after this. There's not enough time to get a return and then get a big play. We'd probably take a knee if we had the ball in offense because uh, of where the ball ended up. But uh, I said, basically, don't do what he ended up doing. And uh, so he didn't follow the instructions very well. But, again, he got it back, and the clock went to zero anyway, and he learned from it. And we just got to make sure we understand how important every situation is. What specifically about this Bears special teams unit is good? Uh, they're well coached. They're gonna, they have a great kickoff cover team. Uh, we have uh, That's a big challenge for us. Um, they've got good specialists. Um, you know, Santos was darn near perfect last year uh, with his field goals and PATs. He kicks off well for a little guy. He's got a great leg. Uh, their punter, Pat O'Donnell, has been there a long time. He's a good directional punter. He's got what we call a hook Aussie where he looks like he's punting it to our left and he hooks it back across his body to our right uh, so he can do some things there. And they're just, uh, they do some good things. They're always a fake threat. We're, uh, we're preparing for all their fakes that they've run over the years. And, so it's, uh, it's a, every situation will be a challenge for us because every situation they do something different because they're a well-coached team. Did you say Stewart deflected that field goal? MJ Stewart got his, he got uh, three fingers on it. Yep, he sure did. That caused it to go? It caused it to go to uh, his left, yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It was great. I mean, we had been pressuring him all day. Um, I know we had a couple close calls inside. Clowney came close on one, and then uh, um, uh, who was it? Uh, Denzel Ward came close on another one. But... We were knocking those guys back all day long, and MJ got his hand up, and that was big because, as you know, it cuts it to a one-score game. We have to put our hands team out there, and you know, you know how that is. And we we've been successful here on hands team, but you never know. Every situation is different. I didn't notice that he got fingers on it. Was he coming off the edge? Or was he one of the? He was the guys? second guy. Yes, yeah, so we had uh, Denzel, and then he was the second guy in. And um, Elijah Lee did a great job knocking their end back, and so their wing was in a little bit of a bind, which is why we used that scheme. And and uh, he got his hand up, and he timed it up perfect. Do you know Coach Tabor very well? Tabor? Oh, yeah. I've known him a long time. Oh, yeah. Um, he was at Missouri when I was at Kansas City, when I was at the Chiefs, and he came over. We talked ball one day, and very knowledgeable, hardworking, uh, very creative with his different schemes and his fakes. And um, so he, I thought he did it. I think he does a really nice job. I don't even know. Four. Is it four? Wow. 
Yeah, God bless him. Pretty unusual. Yeah. 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 Well, he's a good coach. That's why he stuck around. Was Santos in Tampa, in my opinion, about something? He was. So what happens, Mike, when a, when a kicker just can't make it in one place and then he goes to another one? Well, with Cairo, he did a great job in Kansas City, and then he got hurt. And when a guy gets hurt, I mean, obviously they find somebody else, and then Kansas City went to Harrison Buckner, so he, and Harrison's had a really nice career there. So I think it's sometimes a combination of injuries, maybe having a two-week stretch where you don't kick the ball well, and an organization loses patience with him, you move on. But I think he's had a really nice career, and he's uh, every time he's been a free agent, we've taken a hard look at him in the different places I've been. I saw you before the opener when it was on the sideline before the game. You had a little moment with Odell. I mm -hmm. thought, and we just talked to him for the first time since camp started. Mm -hmm. Have you gotten to know him pretty well over the last Yeah, year? I mean, I don't talk to him a whole lot um, because after that first punt return in San Francisco uh, a couple of years ago in 2019, we don't talk much about special teams because <laughs> he's holding the ball like a loaf of bread. And I do like to tease him about that from time to time. But, you know, he's a pro, and, um, you know, I'm an older guy that's been around for a while, and I think I can offer some advice to, to anybody that will listen, and, and sometimes we'll talk situations. and. You know, I think he's a good kid that wants to do well, and he, and he wants to play, and, and I know he wants to come back, and I think he's done an amazing job. I, I mean, I thought he was ready for week one. And, uh, but, you know, I know he's got his um, you know, timetable, and hopefully he can play for us this weekend. You were late. I know. You got a, que you got a question? I don't want to repeat that well, That's okay. I like being up here. As my, my daughter tell you, I kind of like, uh, like the attention you guys give me once a week.